Hello everyone. Uh, it's been very rough this week so I haven't had a chance to get out into the garden to check some of the plants. But this is my Senecio, or Senecio Angel Wings and usually you sort of see the, the large label there. If you want you to buy it, that's what it's actually called. And it's really quite silvery and fresh. But what I'm going to do, this one's been out all winter and as you can see it's very, very bedraggled now. The tops, as you can see, are quite fresh. So I'm hoping to keep those. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to take all of these lower brown leaves off. Just pull them off because they, they're not going to be any good at all to the plant. If there are any like that that have been attacked by snails or slugs, pull those off as well. So that you're just left with a nice little bit on the top there, which is quite clean and fresh. Do it all the way along. This plant was at one main plant last summer and I take the top off it and use it as a cutting and then if you do that you get lots of branches and I'll show you where I cut it off um, from the end. If I go all the way along the, the, the branches, clear them all off like that. And as you can see, I've because it'll take me a while, I've done this side. And as you can see now, we've got all this nice growth on the top which we will have now for this year. When I cut it last year, I tilt it forward, that's the main stem and I just cut it off uh, above a leaf joint there really and then it gives you multi branches. You don't have to cut it off but you will, if you don't, you'll have just one large um, plant coming out. You'll have much larger leaves but you'll just have a single plant. So that one now is, will be ready for covering for the, this weekend because we do for some more storms. So I'm going to use some fleece, something like this. I won't be able to do it properly, it's a bit windy out here today, but I'm going to wrap it around the pot. Obviously, if you have somewhere to put it under cover, that would be better still, but I'm gonna wrap it all the way around the pot, like that. Tie it in at the bottom, pull it in over the top, and it really is just to protect these fresh leaves from being damaged by the wind that we're going to have this weekend. So if you tie that in the top then like that, tie around the base and that will protect your pot. But again, as I said, if you take it in for the couple of days, uh, you can bring it back out. Don't keep it in for too long because otherwise you will have to keep it in and, and gradually get it used to the cold, the, the temperatures again if you keep it in for too long. So that's that one. And the tip I took off this last year this was it, and as you can see, it, it's been in the greenhouse all winter, but it's just gone sideways. So what I'm going to do with this one again now, I'm going to cut the top off, and I'm going to do it up, about there, but there's a, there's a leaf joint there where it will have new leaves on it. Take that off there, like that, so I'll end up with that. It looks drastic, but if I repot that, put it up straight, it will turn out to, to have multi stems like this one so that's that one and this one I won't waste it because it's a nice cutting just pull these leaves off that have been damaged again and then I will put it in a container and I'll use a multi-purpose compost or compost with some vermiculite or perlite in it to break it up damp but not not soaking wet and then if you push that into this the soil I'll use this one as an example, if this could be the potty compost. Just push it in, like that, bury it down to, down to about there, like that. This one then should root in probably about six to eight weeks, maybe, maybe a little less than that. I would keep this one under cover, either in the greenhouse or under cover uh, in the house, if you've got a, a window cell that's not too hot. And you will have another plant then for next year or later this summer. So hopefully that will give you some advice on this one. If you don't want little leaves like this, just let this plant grow on a single stem and the leaves get very large. So I'll try and do something else later in the week after the weather's calmed down a bit. So thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.